we are fully funded for our $45,000 adoption! Hello friends, welcome back to the channel today. If you don't know me, my name is Winter Hendrickson. I have four kids and we are working on our child number five. We're adopting them from China. Um, we are very, very excited about adopting child number five. Uh, I just wanted to come on here and share our story. Um, this adoption process has been almost one year. We started exactly one year um, in March um, last year. So it's 2020 now, February. So coming up next month, it'll be one year since starting this process. And we are fully funded in our adoption of about $40,000, $45,000 actually. So let me tell you how this all happened, how it came to be. Um, I just honestly, Honestly, I wanted to share this story because I wanted it to be on video so I could share it with my children and I didn't like, like, so I knew the details, you know? So like sometimes we, we like think about something that happened in the past and we like forget the testimony of, of what God did in our life, about how that happened. And I just wanted to be an encouragement for those of you um, that are starting the adoption process and that are looking at these mountainous funds that needs to be raised, like mountainous is the word to use because they're so large, <laughs> um, just so that you guys know um, how it all happened. So let me share this story with you guys. Stick around for all that. So let me start back here at the very beginning of this adoption process. Um, we found out we were um, wanting to adopt last March. It was something that me and my husband both realized that we wanted to do. We wanted to adopt from China specifically. Um, and I had been calling um, the agencies around that I really, really liked for probably about a month before finally um, I was like, Chad, I can't do this. Chad said to my husband, I can't do this. Like, no one's answering the phone. Like, maybe it's not the right time for us to adopt. Like, I can't even get anyone to answer this phone call. So finally, he's like, okay, I'll try it. So he calls our agency. We're going with Holt International. I don't feel shameful for this. And he just called them and said, and they answered. And then they answered our questions and said that we qualified. We actually didn't even know if we technically qualified to adopt from China because of how much income we needed to make. We finally crossed that threshold this year for the very first time, first time we ever qualified um, financially, as in we make $10,000 a year per person in our current family plus the child or adopted. So we have six people in our family plus the child, so $70,000. So now you know how much we our income is um, $70,000 a year, and we've barely crossed that threshold this year because my husband got a raise at his current job. He was promoted to a sales associate or salesman at his part-time job. So he's making quite a bit more money, um, which is awesome for our little family here um, and such a huge blessing, but um, we wanted to either buy a new house with it or adopt, and we decided to adopt because that makes the most sense. Um, so that's what we decided to do. It's not for everybody I know, but you guys just um, follow your leading. Um, honestly, um, we've been working really hard to get to this position so we are financially ready to adopt from China. We paid off our house. We had all of our finances in order to get to this point to where we are right now. And so you have to have so much money, um, you have to have so much net worth in order to adopt from China. So there was so many things, so many factors in there that we needed to have in line in order for us to adopt and we finally crossed all those check marks off so we could adopt from China. So that being said, financially, we barely qualified financially, So, but we qualified, so <laughs> here we go. Um, so we found out that we were adopting, so he called the agency, the agency was super nice, they're so sweet. Um, we started our paperwork process and it was actually quite extensive and um, quite extensive, like actually, and probably around April or so, we we found our child that we wanted to adopt um, from the waiting child list. And they said that our adoption could go from happening in three years to one year. Like it could go from three years of savings for this thing to one year. And so financially we were like strapped. We're gonna have to come up with, at the time it was about $30,000. Um, not $30,000. At the time, we, they told us we had to come up with about $40,000 for this process. And then later, we decided that we want to take our four children with us to China. So we were, we're now saving for $45,000 to adopt from China. Um, 
maybe a little bit more, hopefully we can get there. But right now, let me tell you how we got there. Um, honestly, that number um, kind of paralyzed us for like a little bit, probably like a day or two. Um, I remember going to our pastor's house and sitting on their couch and them being like, what's going on? <laughs> you know, cause I'm just like, my husband's kind of freaking out, like as he should, you know, like what did we get ourselves into? We do not get into debt. Like that is something that we will never do again with our family. It's just a personal belief system. It's not sin to be in debt, all these things. But for us, it's a personal standard to never be in debt and to take out loans. Um, and we wanted to do this right. And we were like super like cautious with our finances and like do very safe things with our finances. So that's kind of how we always been. We don't live beyond our means. So that's our background story. So we had about $3,000 to start our adoption process from a tax return that we got because um, we gave some money to our children from our tax return and then we had $3,000 left over so we we're going to roll that into our adoption and that paid for our basically just the home study portion of it none of the other fees so it was kind of funny looking back um <laughs> me my my brain I couldn't I couldn't get my brain to figure out and calculate how I could save enough to pay for this adoption. So that's kind of where the sheer panic came into play. But but I just wanted to break down the numbers for you how we came up with all this money in this time frame. So people that like the numbers, yes, God provided it, but he provided it for specific ways. And I feel like it was like a slow drizzle for us. And it was like the money came just at the right time. We never had abundance until like right now, now we have all the money we need. Um, and we were supposed to travel to China in April, and but it has been delayed because of the coronavirus. So um, we will have all the money need by um, like August. So hopefully, anyways, we had all the money we need if we were traveling in April, like originally planned it. So I feel like God has put this money in front of us just at the perfect time to encourage us and to, to get us going. Um, so the first um, grant we actually got was a $1,000 grant from an organization, a very small organization called Open Heart Adoption or Open Heart um, Grant. I'm not sure what their specific organization name is. I'll put it in the link below for you. Um, and they were so sweet. They, they like, most of the time you need to be um, like matched or like have everything in order. Your home study needs to be done before you can even start like getting grants, but these guys did it before our home study was even done. So like, that was like just really encouraging, honestly. Um, it was so encouraging. Actually, at the very beginning of this adoption process, I was like, seriously, if anybody needs like a grant just to start it, it's like at $300 just for the application, to send your send your application in to adopt, it costs, it costs money. So everything about this process costs tons of money. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's not cheap. Um, but that was so encouraging. And the lady, had, we're still friends on Facebook. We still communicate back and forth. She's like, talks to me and connects with me about how our adoption is going, praying for the coronavirus to end. Um, she has quite the story. She actually adopted a little guy um, in China um, and he had heart problems and he was home for only four months before he went to be with Jesus. And so they started this amazing grant fund. She went on to adopt other kids from China as well, but um, they started this amazing foundation and I just, I love them. They're really, really down to earth. They're really, um, they not only give you money, but they also invest um, spiritually into your adoption. So they, they were super helpful and it was super encouraging to us. Um, then we had another grant of $1,000. It wasn't really a grant, it was some friends that were missionaries and I know they don't have a ton of money, but God just laid it out, us on their heart and they gave us $1,000. And I just, I couldn't believe it. Like these people would love me. Every single time someone would give us money, I'd be like, I just can't believe it. Like, I feel so undeserving. Like we should, like, you know, it's kind of a humbling experience having somebody donate money to you. Um, so also outside of, um, that um, we had another friend just recently give us $500 um, from their business, which was super awesome, super great thing to do. We just felt so loved by that. Um, and then just small donations that came in from from a few of you on YouTube have given us like $50. One person gave us um, almost $500 once on YouTube. So about $1,000 came in from from you guys, from some of our viewers. Um, they paid through PayPal. Um, I'm so glad I don't have to raise any more money from you guys. I, that's like a relief we thought about doing like a t-shirt fundraiser and things like that but i'm like oh 
I don't know. I'm just super glad we don't have to raise any more money because it's all taken care of. That being said, I also got a, we got about $700 I made off of YouTube um, this year and that we've been saving all that for the adoption after we tithe off of it, of course. Um, so that, that was pretty encouraging. I know it doesn't feel like much for as much time I put into it, but this is like a ministry for me, but it's also paying off towards our adoption. So like that was kind of cool. So you guys watching my channel has also fed, sewed into our adoption as well. So that was kind of cool. Um, then our agency had us apply for a special needs adoption grant because our child in China has some special needs. Um, not like severe, I would say they're moderate, but you'll never really know that they had special needs if you looked at them. But um, so they gave us a grant for $3,000. Our agency helped us to apply for this grant, which was so humbling and just amazing, like all at the same time. And then another um, Christian organization gave us a $4,000 grant. Um, they didn't want us to um, say their name on any like public place because they wanted to be anonymous and they didn't want people to know like they gave this couple this much money, this couple that much money. They wanted it to be anonymous, which I can really respect and like they're doing it for all the right reasons. So I just like $4,000 is a ton of money. I almost freaked out. I remember reading it at work and just like crying with my coworkers because <laughs> they gave us $4,000, which is amazing. Um, all that to say through everyone that's outside of our personal family, it's like not us, like our family didn't make it. Um, we raised $20,000, which is a ton of money. Um, then also I made about $1,000 from speaking engagements last year and then we also saved about $1,500 a month towards the adoption from our personal budget. Um, we didn't we didn't eat out as much, we didn't go anywhere, we didn't go on vacations, we literally just same old, same old every single month except for Christmas I'm pretty sure we gave $1,500 towards our adoption. So it came to being about fifteen grand um, by doing that as well, which is awesome. Like I felt like really great about it. It was a joy, a joy to give um, all that money <laughs> um, for this. So that all that, those totals brought us to about to $38,000. And then um, we got some tax return money coming here in this next week here, which is really great because we have so many kids and we don't make a ton of money. So like we got some money coming back from that. Um, and then also we'll be saving another $1,500 a month till then so that will definitely bring us over that $45,000 mark and honestly we are planning now that um the adoption is being delayed a little bit here is to have enough money in um our bank account in order for me to stay home for a little while to care for the needs of this child is coming to live with us so for our child i can't say if it's a boy or girl is gonna tell you what it was so that's funny um i promise i'll release the gender as soon as they let us so we're waiting for loa right now letter of acceptance so be praying for us with that so so th that's how we got forty five thousand dollars in one year guys that's how it happened um i'm thankful i honestly think god was in every single step of the way there like i feel so blessed i feel so like grateful um, thinking back to that moment, sitting on the couch crying, having our pastor pray for us and saying like that they believe in us, that we can do this, like it kind of brought it full circle. Like one year later, here we are fully funded for our adoption to China. Like it's, it's miraculous to say the least. So anyways, thank you guys for everyone who has supported us this year um, through this process. We just love you so much and we just um, are so thankful like for this outlet and for what God's doing in our life and for our child in China. Um, please continue to be praying for them. Um, right now they are safe in the virus. Um, we got word that all the children in the orphanages don't have the virus. So praise God for that, right? And then also if, we, if you're watching this video today, it's like a Tuesday, I think it is. Um, please be praying for our family. We are taking our older two sons and we are going to Thailand on fr on Friday. Yeah, Friday. We're gonna be doing a heritage slash working with the foundation, helping um, work in an orphanage and also with the village people there that is the same ethnicity as our sons. Um, so it's gonna be a really, really great experience. So if you could be praying for us that um, we will be safe and that God would do amazing things in Thailand and that are amazing things in our boys' heart while we're there. Um, that'd be awesome. So hopefully I'll have some videos of that out um, here in the next couple of weeks so you guys can watch all those things. So thank you guys so much. I just encourage you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss um, all of our China travels and our Thailand travels. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.